Hi everyone, welcome to week 24 of Nutrition Bites. Okay, so today I'm going to share a recipe for a delicious Mediterranean salad. So we'll talk about the ingredients, then we'll talk about the three macronutrients, um, how to make salad a complete meal, some more salad recipes, and then the weekly challenge. Okay, so this is the recipe for the Mediterranean salad. Now, don't worry, you don't have to use as many ingredients are here. So if you look, there are ingredients for the tofu marinade, the salad dressing, and the actual salad. So the basics, use these salad ingredients. And if you're really wanting to do the convenience factor, you could marinate the tofu in a store-bought dressing and use a store-bought dressing as well for the salad. But if you want to make everything from scratch, here are the recipes to do that. Okay, so now let's talk about the three macronutrients, and this will kind of set the stage um, when we talk about how to make salad a complete meal. So first we have carbohydrates. Carbohydrates uh, supply glucose, which is our body's main source of fuel, and carbohydrates also provide fiber. So some of the best sources of carbohydrates um, from a whole food plant-based perspective include fruit, starchy vegetables like potatoes, sweet potatoes, and whole grains. The next macronutrient is protein, and protein is a really important nutrient to support growth and repair of the body. It also helps with feeling full and satiated after eating a meal. Uh, so plant sources of protein include beans, lentils, soy and tofu products, uh, and vegetables also have protein. Uh, all plant foods will have some protein. Obviously, some have much higher amounts than others. All right, fats. Fats is the third macronutrient, and fats are really important because they are incorporated into our cell structure and cell walls, um, so we need to consume some fats, and they also help with keeping full and satiated after a meal. So some plant, some whole food plant sources of fats include avocados, nuts, seeds, and olives. Okay, so when it comes to making salad into a complete meal that you're going to feel full after, the key is to make sure that you're including all three of the macronutrients. So here is kind of a blueprint from the American College of Lifestyle Medicine of all the components to include in a salad to help make it a complete meal. So you want to start with your leafy greens. Uh, then you can add other veggies. Uh, you for sure want to include protein as well as some fiber rich carbs. So think like a whole grain. Um, and then you want to include a small amount of healthy fats to again, help with that satiation and then some toppers. And this is more of just a flavoring thing. Um, but including all of these categories will really help to ensure that your salad will be filling and also balanced. Um, it's not just a iceberg lettuce salad with some dressing. No, we've included carbs, we've included protein, we've included fats so that you feel full and, you know, can last until your next meal. Um, okay, so I'm going to share a few salad recipes with you in the article version of this, specifically a loaded kale salad, a grilled corn salad, and a roasted squash and arugula salad. And these are all very well balanced salads, including all the macronutrients. Um, and then I also just want you to check out this blog post from the minimalist baker and it's 22 hearty plant-based salads so they look amazing and they all look really well balanced as well so give some of those a try and see what you think all right weekly challenge for you this week is to try and make a balanced salad for dinner twice during the week or you could do it for lunch whatever works best for your schedule but again when you're building your salad make sure that you're including sources of protein sources of fat and sources of carbohydrates so that you can get all the nutrients you need and feel full until your next meal that is it for today thank you so much for joining me and i look forward to seeing you all next week